In CSS, there are different ways you can achieve responsive layouts. In my previous video, I showed you how to use CSS Grid. But in this video, I'll show you how to use CSS Flex to achieve all of this. See, we have these eight boxes here. They are all filling the container. Once you reduce the item, the CSS Flex automatically calculates how many rows is needed or how many columns is needed for each row. And if you keep going, the CSS Flex does this whole automatic calculation. I have no media queries, as you can see in my code here. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how I achieved this responsive layout. We'll be starting from this. I have my eight boxes here. Each of them have images and the unsplash text. This is the code for it. I have div container. In this container, I have div with a box which has an image and a span. I have another box, same thing, and I have eight of these boxes. The container has a pattern of 10 pixels. Then I have display flex and gap of 20 pixels. And you can see the whole items are now in the flex container with this gap that I have specified. For the box, it has a box shadow. This is the style for the image and this is the style for the span. Now by default, when you have display flex on your element, display flex will try to fit everything on one row. If I expand this, display flex will try to fit everything on one row. If you check my image here, it has a width of 100% and the box doesn't have any width. So the boxes are trying to fill everything. But now I have squished the screen to a point where the container can no longer contain everything on one row. And now there is an overflow to the right. Well, a simple way to fix this, as you probably already know, is to add flex wrap wrap. And this is what telling the container that when you you cannot put everything on one row wrap to the next row and now if i should come here and refresh this okay great now we have this items are now wrapping to the next row when needed and if i expand the screen you can see we have four rows if i expand we have three rows and you see all of this is the flex wrap working but now the boxes are looking irregular and the reason for this is because we do not have any width on the box. So here I can apply a width on the box and give this 200 pixels. Now when I refresh, all the boxes now look the same. If I expand, you see everything is on one row. We even have some extra space here because each box is 200 pixels. But when I compress and compress, it wraps to the next line as needed. But now we have this blank space on the right. And the reason why we have that space is because the flex container can only put four items of 200 pixels on one row so it goes to the next row and then we have this space and this is how we can use some flex tricks to improve this so instead of using a fixed width of 200 pixels here i can use a flex basis of 200 pixels you can think of flex basis for this box here as the minimum width and then we can have a flex grow of one by this we are saying that this box should grow when it has the space to grow and now if i should come here and i refresh now you can see we don't have that blank space on the right and more because the item has grown it saw a space to grow and then it could grow from this base line and now if we should expand this a bit you can see that all the items are filling the space and the items are growing here we have just one row and each of these items on this row have a flex grow of one so they have the same width and when we compress, it gets to a point where the flex container is like, I cannot put all these items with 200 pixels minimum width on one row. And then the flex item wraps to the next row. And on wrapping, you see that this seven items here have the same width because they have a flex grow of one and then because there is this last item on this row this also automatically has a flex grow of one and that is why it's filling the whole screen this is probably what you want in your own case and this is probably not what you want but let's just stick with this for this video now when you keep reducing it gets to a point where the container now has two rows and you can see the last two items also having that flex grow of one and if we continue like this now we have four items on each row we get to this point and then now we have three rows and if we continue now we have two rows and can i go even further i cannot reduce my width any further so coming back here we have a base width of 200 pixels so the flex container will try to put as many items of 200 pixels minimum on one row and when it gets to a point where it cannot put that it wraps to the next row because we have our flex wrap but then this flex grow of one would also allow each item to grow accordingly if there is space for for it. I hope this video teaches you one or two tips about CSS or responsive layout. You can also check out my previous video which I showed how to achieve responsive layout with CSS grid, autofit and min max. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like, share with others and subscribe for more responsive related videos like this.